Hello, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is part of the playlist called SQL Developer Tips. And here we learn how to create a backup of database objects in SQL Developer. Okay, so we're looking at SQL Developer, which is the IDE tool of Oracle database. It comes bundled when you download and install the Oracle database software. So when we say um, create, when I say database objects, we mean objects such as tables, views, procedures, and functions, the ones that we see on the navigator pane right now of the SQL developer. So, so here we see tables, views, um, indexes, packages, procedures, functions, so most, maybe not all, but most of these uh, are uh, database objects, okay? Okay, so uh, let's get on with it. Um, in this demo, I'll be creating uh, a backup of a function called uh, this pipe. This pipe, that's the name of the function. So function is uh, a kind of database object, okay? It's here, functions. So the first way, I will be showing you two ways of creating a backup, but just to set things straight, when we say backup, create a backup, I don't mean creating backup of table data, okay? But creating a backup of a database object or the DDL script, of that object. God, I'll show you what I mean. It's not so clear right now. So the first way is to okay, create a backup database object. Okay. Again, it's not the same as backing up table data. It's not the same. This is creating a backup of a database object. Okay. So to do that first, you will look for the database object, which is the one you wanted to back up, okay? In my case, I'm looking, I wanna make a backup of a function called disk time. So since it's a function, I go to the navigator pane over here, I go to functions, which is here. I will expand that node and then look for the object called disk time. So it's this one. I will click on that object. And when I do that on my right, hand side, it will show the DDL statement. This is what you call DDL. So when we say DDL, let me just get, okay, I'm sure here. Yeah. Mm, let, me, let me just, in the interest of time, I won't be typing it again. So DDL means, data definition language. Okay, so in SQL, uh, there is this term called DDL. DDL, a DDL statement is an SQL statement used to create a database object. So when you click, just like what we did right now, we clicked on the object, the function called this time, and at that instant, it showed the SQL on the right side. That's a DDL statement. It's an SQL statement used to create or recreate a database object, in this case, a function for this plan. So this is the first approach. We click on the object, it shows the DDL statement here. Okay, you already know the meaning of DDL, data definition language, okay? And the next is I will do a select all, control A on this. This is the DDL statement, control A, select all, control C, copy that, and then go to your SQL worksheet right here. How did we get the SQL worksheet? Once you make a connection to a database in SQL Developer, then it will open an SQL worksheet. If you wanna open another one, then you will just go to your connection, right click, and then you will, uh, at the bottom, you don't see it, open SQL worksheet, okay? So this is an SQL worksheet. I copied everything here, Control A, Control C, and then I go here, and then I paste here, okay? Now, since we wanted to create a backup of this object, we will give it a unique name. But in keeping with, uh, in being consistent, we name it in such a way that the new name will make it obvious to anybody that it's a backup of an existing object. So in this case, I will retain the name this time 
and then I will append or I will add at the at the end of this name uh, maybe today's date okay so today is actually 5 5th of May 2023 okay so uh, because if I don't give it a new name there's some danger there there's some risk because if I make changes here and then I don't give it a new name. Remember the statement here is create or replace. What happens is uh, if I don't give it a new name and then I did some changes here called changes, no matter how minor, it will replace because of this keyword, it will replace the existing DDL of the object. Okay, the existing objects DDL. So I gave it, I retained the name and then I appended some uh, descriptive information to make it obvious that it is, an, it is a backup, okay? And then because of this, is I'm ready, I will just uh, put my cursor anywhere and then use the key combination of control enter. So I don't need this anymore. Of course, control enter. That will compile the whole thing. Remember, it will not only compile, it will create a new object called this time underscore five May 2023. Okay, control enter. Okay, so some error there. Mm, that is only because of this. Wait, uh, the end because of this. Okay, so anyway. We can talk about it another time. I can just remove this. This is just for best practice. I can remove that. This, this is just simple begin and end, okay? Begin, here's the begin, here is the end. I can talk about this in another day. Okay, I will redo the compilation control enter and no more errors. Function this time, 5 May 2023 has been compiled, okay? So we're okay. Uh, next is to check if indeed the new database object, the function has been created. So we go to the left side, to the navigator pane of uh, SQL Developer. And right now, if you look for an object or a function called this time 5 May 2023, it's not there. So what you do is you can click on this refresh button here. And sure enough, you will see now this time 5 May 2023 is here. Okay, so let me just erase everything here and then I will click on this new object just to verify this is the one we have created. Okay, so it shows here also, again, it's called the DDL statement or the data definition language statement. SQL statement used to create a database object. So here you can see that this is the object we've just created now. The function name is there is correct. Okay, so this is the first step creating a database object backup. Again, not the same as creating backup of table data. It's not the same, okay? That's the first way. The second way we're gonna do is, let me get it, is to export the DDL statement. Again, you know what a DDL statement is. It's the SQL used to create an, a database object, okay? So the second way is not to create a backup object, but to export the DDL statement as, a, as an, SQL script. Okay, how do we do that? So uh, what you do is you you can right click on the database object which you're interested in making an, an object. I mean, a backup of. So in my case, again, I'll focus on the function called this time. I will right click on that. Okay, you get it. So under functions, I'm interested in the function called this time. I will right click. And then I will go to quick DDL. Okay, you don't see it. I will scroll this a little bit there. Okay. Right click on the object that you want to create a backup DDL script of. Right click and then click on quick DDL. See, DDL also. And then you click on save to file. Okay. And then you can specify the folder path where you want it to save or create the DDL script, which is an SQL script. Already it's showing that the extension will be given, that will be given is SQL. So I will give it a name. Um, I will still call it this time. 
I will, I could even use the same uh, file name I gave the object and earlier, and it will not contradict, it will not be a conflict. There'll be no clashing because the first one I did is a database object, but this one is just a text file with an extension of SQL, okay? So again, we're exporting the DDL statement of that object this time, that function, exporting it in, and the output will be an SQL script, okay? So I can just now, right now, I can just click on save, the save button, okay? And in fact, it already created the DDL statement, exported it into uh, to a SQL script, a SQL file, which is purely text, ASCII and it opened it right in front of you. So if we check also in the file system, you can see that the file that has just been created today is here, okay? So it's the same one that you are seeing here, okay? So if I open this, give me a second. Okay, so the file is also here. This time, file main. So it is system generated. It was generated by the action of doing an export, uh, quick DDL, and it it is the same one we're looking at right here in SQL Developer. Here, the same one. Okay, so we have, um, I've shown you two ways of creating a backup of a database object. One is a true backup, meaning a duplicate database object. In this case, uh, we used the function this time as an example, and the backup object created is this one, this time underscore five main 2023. So it's a function, it's a function. The second way of doing it is not really creating uh, similar database object, but exporting the DDL statement to uh, a text file, the DDL. Now, what's the, if you will ask, if you might ask, what is the, uh, what good does it bring? What's the benefit of having an SQL script uh, exporting the DDL? In fact, in the, in, in, in the actual application, in the real world application, once you're in the IT industry, this is a very uh, good practice. So many companies uh, create backup of DDL scripts somewhere. In case it's a worst case scenario, uh, the database has been wiped out. Yes, there are two different things here. One is data, the other is the, the objects, the data structure, the, the kinds of procedures, uh, all the other database objects, procedures, functions, packages, views, and they can all be recreated because of SQL scripts like this one, okay? So there you go, uh, you've learned, I hope you learned something new from this, uh, two ways of creating backups, not of data, but of database objects. One is creating duplicate or backups of database objects. The other is simply exporting the DDL statement of a database object. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe and click the bell. I hope to see you in the next video.